Hello and what's up YouTube? So this is an old countertop kitchen oven. The original mechanical thermostat is not working but all the other controls are fine. I have been using this oven for my home powder coating and I simply bought this cheap PID controller kit to control the temperature. So the kit comes with this PID temperature controller a solid state relay and the thermocouple sensor. You see the walls at the sides and the top of the oven are constructed with two layers of sheet metal. But the bottom and back walls are just single layer of thin sheet metal. And I think there is significant heat loss in those walls. The door is not well sealed, but most of it is made of glass. So not much heat is lost in there. What I did is to cover the bottom part of the oven with another layer of sheet metal. That will greatly improve the thermal efficiency of the oven. That will in turn result to lower electric consumption and much more stable temperature inside the oven which is necessary for powder coating. I removed the outer shell and you can see that there is no insulation in, in between the inner and outer walls either. So that is another area where we can improve. I removed the top inner wall to make the back wall accessible. The back wall is originally a single layer of sheet metal as well. I bought this fiberglass insulation and that is what I sandwich in between the inner and outer walls of the oven for insulation. For the back wall, I have this sheet metal cut to size. I simply slip it in with the fiberglass insulation sandwiched in between. There are grooves in the inside that hold this sheet metal in place, so it did not require other fasteners.
I drill a hole somewhere in the middle of the oven to attach the thermocouple sensor of the PID controller. And as you can see here, I stuff as much fiberglass insulation as I can to the top and side walls. The fiberglass insulation prevents air circulation in between the walls of the oven that could contribute to heat loss through convection. The bottom of the oven also got stuffed with fiberglass. Before I finally cover it with the sheet metal I cut to size earlier. I then simply rivet it in place. It is not pretty but it is in the bottom and nobody can see it anyway. And there you go ladies and gentlemen, an improved countertop kitchen oven for powder coating. Double walled all the way and now stuffed with fiberglass insulation. I wired the oven to incorporate the PID controller, thermocouple and relay as shown. I will make a home for this PID controller and relay later. I just want to test and use it for now. I set it to 200 degrees centigrade temperature, which is normally the temperature needed for powder coating. It took about 8 minutes for the oven to reach that temperature and to stabilize. Before the modification, it would take half an hour or more, so it is a big improvement overall. I hope that you find this video useful, especially if you have the same style oven you want to use for powder coating. Let me know what you think in the comments and I appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.